Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Hello there guys, well I've seen the, uh, seen few people might be interested, uh, or seem to be interested in the last antenna tuner that I built for HF from a vertical antenna and today we're going to build another antenna tuner that hopefully will work on VHF and UHF for my Bearcat and well any other scanner for that matter and the schematic is right here your input output coil switch in tuning cap it's all fairly easy everything's all grounded the coil ain't going to be grounded in this one it's going to be grounded through the, through the tuning capacitor variable capacitor in the enclosure uh, this little switch that I'm going to be using is a four position and the knob to go with it uh, the tuning capacitor is a little small little micro tuning cap 160 or 107 to 160 picofarad I guess and the tuning knob uh, the coil uh, is yet to be formed the enclosure is a small little aluminum box by uh, it's made by Hammond it's the if you well you can see it model number is the Hammond 1590-A that's the enclosure that I'm going to be using there was two other BNC uh, connectors mounted but I ain't going to be required these these ain't going to be required I could put a switch in here to switch between two other scanners if I wanted to but I might leave that for a future modification so that's it that's all the parts we need a bit of wire solder and oh yes and a piece of coax uh, the coax are going to be used between the uh, tuning capacitor and the switch so we don't get too many losses there on the line and the tuning and the little capacitor is a little small micro uh, coax it's a real small stuff I'm not sure what the actual name it is on it it's not marked on this one but you know the you know the uh, type I'm talking about small little small coax so I'm going to use that to go as I said between the capacitor and switch which gets connected to the coil and some uh, antenna tuners the coil is grounded whereas the tuning capacitor is not but this configuration is the, op is the opposite configuration where the coil is not grounded but the capacitor is the, the tuning the ground will be coming off the capacitor versus coming off the coil so I may end up changing this configuration but uh, we'll go with it for now and see how it uh, works out in any event this is going to be a VHF UHF antenna tuner I reading online that a lot of people don't like using VHF UHF antenna tuners and whatnot and you know if you're into scanning and you're interested in a lot of segments or just a certain band um, you know you can put up separate antennas for every single band from UHF to VHF even up the gigahertz I mean even the HF I mean all these bands need certain antennas but with the antenna tuner it'll help you uh, use the same antenna over a broader range and uh, I haven't even bothered to attempt transmitting and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say it's a transmitting tuner right yet I might try it on my HTX202 just to, to see how well that will work but for right now we're just going to build it for receiving for, uh, for scanners so without further ado and without boring you too much with the gab session here we'll uh, get right to it so Stand by. Alright, I got the switch and capacitor mounted. I got the other two capacitor uh, BNC connectors taken off. So far, there's the inside of the antenna tuner. Antenna matcher, money match, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be a neat little uh, 
box. I got to say, it's a neat little tuner, I think. Uh, the switch was a bit hard to mount. I had to countersink the. I had to countersink the mount, so the uh, nut would fit it. To drill a hole, then get a bigger hole or a bigger drill, drill bit, and drill down a little bit without going all the way through. And you can counter. I had to countersink the uh, the nut in order to mount the switch, which is mounted there now. It's a four position, as you can see. So, all I do now is uh, make up my coil. I'm uncertain at the moment how big I'm going to make, not big now, but how many turns I'm going to have on the coil. But, let's, uh, let's put her together. Let's, let's get her done. Alright. Well, she's uh, built. Here's the unit. Your input, input, output, your coil which is in here, the switch, it's the red one, the capacitor, it's this one here. Oh, what does it look like underneath? Well, this is what it looks like underneath. I think it turned out pretty good if you ask me. Um, again, one B and C, another B and C. Here's your coil right here. That's the switch, and here's your jumpers. And you got tuning cap, which goes to ground. So, as you can see, switch, capacitor, ground. Easy. Easy and compact. Now, well, let's just give her a try now and see how well it works. Alright. Got a 4 on the radio. And there's the tuner with a telescopic whip on it. Using B and C connectors here. And you got three to four bars here. This is what happens when I tune the antenna. That's tuning the tuning cap. And the switch. Well, I'm going to give you an idea between the actual size of it. And the background is MFJ 949E antenna tuner. And this is my little critter. So, here you go.